Well, as you're watching this show, um, it is very cold outside. This morning was minus 6 degrees. And um, the maximum, was that for you? Only 10. So let's look at some of the requests that we've got. The first thing that we've got is Woolworths. And um, Ernest asked about Woolies. He likes the share. And um, I think he wants to buy it again because he said to me, what is the short term perspective of the share? Now, Ernest, if you look at this chart, beautiful rally all the way up. What I want to show you is, I want to show you there is maybe a flag formation in the making here. There you are. Here's the top resistance line. Here's the support. Now, usually what you find is, after such a beautiful rally that we've seen from May, from around 47 Rand, all the way up to 57 Rand, and if you see a pullback, the moment this resistance line turns into a support, that will be at 54 Rand, you are, 54 Rand 30 cents, that will break that line to the top. If that turns into a support, then you know we can move back to about 57 Rand. What's the golden rule here, Ernest? Golden rule is you need to wait for the resistance line, this line, to turn into a support. Sometimes people anticipate and say, but this is a flag formation. It must go up and it must go over by 54.40. The best is to wait for it before you just rush in and you buy it because 54.14 is the crucial level there. But there's another level to watch. This strong bullish candle that we've seen here, um, that low of that candle is 52 rand and 2 cents. If it can get below 52.02, you can actually see that we can see another move to the downside and that the share can actually lose more momentum. Well, let's have a look at NASPERS. I mean, this is the darling of the market. NASPERS and Process for many years supported the market. It just went higher. I'm looking at this chart and someone phoned me this week and said a lot of his pension money is actually involved in the share. And he would love to see this chart going higher. So um, if we look at this chart, there is the one candle I would just want to show you there. That, let's just take that away. Um, that shooting star on the 25th of January 21 actually called the top in for NASPERS. Because since then, we had like a double top here. We had a lower eye. And since then, all the way down to the bottom. And now we're sitting where we had this breakaway gap. Now, I said to Charles when he phoned me, I said, Charles, this gap needs to close. If this gap does not close. It tells you that there's maybe another move to the downside. Because what happened, the share for a few weeks, you can actually see consolidated. In this consolidation, I just looked at that um, Willie's chart for you. In that consolidation, what happened? Just have a look. This is a nice chart to illustrate a flag formation. Look what happened here. Everybody thought that this is a descending channel. It can easily broke to the upside. And what happened? On the support line here at the bottom, it actually fell through. So it can go lower, even as low as 27. But the bottom line here is it needs to close this gap. I just want to show you that gap so that you can see it. There you are. I just want to draw in that line so you, that you can see it clearly. There you are. Well, that gap is between 2,893 rand and 36 cents, and it will close at 2,926 rand. So it's important for NASPER to turn around and actually close that gap and from there find some support to go higher. The big lesson here is that you can get shares that's been winners for a long time and suddenly disappoint. And that's also true on the other side. Can you remember PC and Arsenal Metal? A lot of people, and I was one of them that was very nervous about Arsenal Metal. Those shares, they survived through this COVID crisis and they actually had some wonderful gains in the last year. So let's have a look at NASPERS. And the big one is if it gets below 2,750, be careful. The share can actually disappoint even more. I just want to see if there's not maybe a gap a little bit further on. Let's see. 
this one or that line in oh there you are this may be right this down Charles and that's below 270510 and 268491 so it just shows you there's still a gap at the the downside be careful if this support does not last uh, this one at around let's say -wee. can you believe that that makes me a little bit nervous Charles um, if this support of 2750 doesn't last there's still even one a little bit lower here so that doesn't look good for Naspash well let's have a look at Numpak Sipu is asking about Numpak and let's have a look here Numpak Sipu there's the share also had a beautiful rally I mean it went all the way as high as on 8th of April it went as high as 3 rand 70 cents and now it's at 2 rand 22 it looks like there's a trend line that's keeping it down let's have a look here uh, guys what's now wrong with this program there you are there's a trend line that's keeping numb um, under pressure and the best is to say to yourself let's wait for this trend line to turn into a support line because that will only be above 2 rand and 52 cents while it's above below 2 rand 52 the share looks like it wants to go lower let's just have a look here I just want to see how it looks there you are same thing here very interesting also a a flag formation that maybe is in the making there you are beautiful rally flag formation for me i will wait for this support line to end line to turn into a support otherwise i'll just sit on my hands let's have a look at jubilee Tolly is asking about jubilee jubilee platinum player that very very well let's have a look here and some of the other platinum players also find a little bit of resistance the last couple of months. Uh, here's Jubilee. Looks like the South African counter slowly but surely is running out of steam here. If I look at the chart here, there you are, beautiful uptrend. We had a high of 4 and 26. Same thing, also a descending channel. But for me, this is the big one this little candle the low of that candle there let's have a look here there you are Solly, this share must remain above the low of this candle that's three and 25 cents in actual fact i will wait for this line to show that it can remain a support and on the other hand same thing here i would love the share first to go above this line there you are um, and there's the high of that candle above 3 rand 80 cents. I think Jubilee can put in another move up to the 4 rand, 4 rand 20 levels. Before then, looks like also the share is like, you, know, you can almost say lackluster and doesn't want to show exactly its true colors. Let's have a look at Harmony. Harmony. And that is a request from Kurs. Oh, what a sell-off we've seen here. I mean, look at this chart. It's a classic chart. It went up. And what do we see here? Right at the top, we're seeing a teaser. A teaser top is, is uh, symptomatic of two sh uh, a share. It's got two beautiful upper shadows here, long upper shadows. That usually calls in for the top. And what happened? Can you believe it? Since 80 rand the high just in in may 2021 it went all the way down to can you believe it 50 rand that's a 30 rand drop in a matter of you can say six weeks now the trend line here is quite simple the trend is quite to the downside have a look there but what i like about this is that this trend line this negative line turned into a support and there you are and what's interesting here I want to show you something. Although this line shared under pressure for quite a long time, 
when he bounced up above this line, look what happened here. And I want to show you this tiny lower shadow here. It almost touched this line at 52.77. That is positive because that is a technical good night kiss. And we've seen some nice strong candles, but now we're seeing a tiny little window here. I just want to show you here so that you can see. While this little gap is open, always in two minds here, sometimes you say that you want the gap to be closed, but sometimes you will say while this gap is open, the momentum is to the upside. Because while the gap is open, it shows you that the share is, is fighting a new direction. Now look at that. There's the gap. That gap is between 55 and 91 cents and 55 and 66 cents. Because while this gap is open, it tells you that the momentum wants to turn and the share wants to go higher. So this chart is actually looking very, very interesting to me. It can maybe show us that we're seeing a turnaround in the gold shares. If you do buy it, you can buy it. I think make use of a stop loss of 53 rand. 69 cents to protect your capital. But there's plenty, plenty moves to the top. Even this little gap can maybe close, and that's between 62.62 and 62.83. Well, let's see if that happens, but it looks like Harmony wants to turn around course. Well, visit our website, www.franceclerc, for more info on charts, and we will chat again.